you too are keen to know. Great sword of solitude and armor of solitude drop from the night that are guardian some small mausoleum. And inside this mausoleum is our very difficult NPC boss. That uses a crossbow, as you can see on the trailer scenes. He didn't drop the crossbow when I defeat him, but he drop his great sword and his armor with the following descriptions. Armor of solitude, bedecked with a black cloak, features overlapping plates of steel. The nameless mausoleums of the realm of shadow are said to hold the spirits of warriors who lost their names or their hearts. Great sword of solitude, steel greatsword wielded by the knights of the solitary jail. Through a secret rite, they relinquished their hearts for heightened battle prowess. Next, they engraved their blades with two crests, one depicting the light of birth and the other solitude. No. Igon's armor drops from the quest NPC Egon. Igon can be found at the eastern side of the map, near Castle Ensis. While I'm playing the Shadow of Erdtree preview, I found an NPC named Igon, and you could hear him screaming in pain from a great distance. But even then, he was swearing revenge upon some dragon that had wronged him. So I put Igon out of his misery, of course, and as I did, he fought back with some dragon communion spells. This clued me in that he might be a dragon communion warrior, and a lot of the items he dropped when I kyled him confirmed that. Had to do it for the lore, you guys understand. But the truly fascinating thing is that there's an invader that attacks you just up the path from Egon, and they invade you. But they don't look like a regular human invader, so it looks like we're getting a new humanoid dragon form. Every From Software game's gotta have one. It seems as far as the lore goes, there's probably only two more extremely important things to discuss.